Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this part, I really don't know what I'm going to do, which I guess has kind of been a theme actually for this series because I think outside of the first two videos I've not really planned any of these. Just kind of did what felt right. I guess there is a couple things downstairs or on the ground floor that I still need to do. The first of which would be to go and do the level where you unlock Luigi, but of course not to do that I need to actually be able to get up here. So yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Um, we've still got Jolly Roger Bay to do, Cool Cool Mountain, and Big Goose Pond. And also Bowser and Dark World, which I've ignored up until now. I will do it, I'm not going to get the key from it, just because I'm a jackass, but yeah, it's about time I actually did it. So I need to switch characters, I need to be actually anybody other than Yoshi, he's the only person who can enter this next level that I'm going to do. Which is pretty lame, I mean, the only way to get him in there is to use like a cheat device. And I don't even really think there's like anything special inside the level if you do get in with him. But yeah, let's just do that. So out here, oh, yeah, I guess I should talk about this area a little bit. I've never been here in this playthrough yet. It's um, it's just the courtyard, it's quite a nice place, it's one of the few areas in the castle which doesn't have any music. I guess because it's outside, just like the, the outside part. Anyway, as you can see, there's lots of bows and some of them have red coins in them. That's If you get all eight of them in this area, you get a star. Obviously can't do that right now. Uh, I will come back and get that when I change the rules much later on. But there was a common like misconception about this. People thought, at least like a decade ago, people thought that if you ended up with 149 stars and you hadn't gotten this one already, then you would never be able to get it and they would just change to like yellow coins and that's just not true at all. Generally the explanation for that was that they forgot to get the star that you get from the rabbits, which um, yeah, is kind of easy to, to miss I suppose. Oh, that was lucky. Um, I mean it doesn't really matter, I would have probably still just accepted it. But yeah, this is a new level. It's um, just the DS one. It's pretty cool, I guess. I think they mostly put this one in for multiplayer purposes. But yeah, it's just five silver stars, none of which I can actually collect. But yeah, you can't even enter this place as Yoshi. You can enter the courtyard as him, but you can't get in here because it requires breaking a block. And the only way to break blocks as Yoshi is to spit a bomb bomb at them, and there was one there, so I think this guy is going to for me. Does, just to make sure that I'm going to coin As you can see, the key is directly in front of me. Could be on top of that platform, don't know. So I'm just going to carefully go around the level and bonk into everything and get all the stars that I can. And probably in this one. Okay, the rest of them probably coins, so that was a good guess. It's usually the center thing for anything that you do in the book. So this one's probably another Goomba. It's kind of lazy that to just put two of them in two of I mean, I guess normally you would do this level fairly early on in the game, and I've kind of left it a bit late. Oh, right, okay. It's probably in this one, right? Okay. Well, that was completely challengeless. Alright, where's the star? Right here. Just using the mini map. Let's see where it is. I'm not really sure there's anything interesting to show off in this level. To tell you the truth, I've not really bothered with it. Because, yeah, it only really has that one purpose to get the Silver Stars thing, so, you know, who cares. Anyway, the other thing, well actually, if I come back here with another character, I think there's a rabbit up here that I can get. Yeah, I think it's, I think actually Luigi and Wario both have one out here, but I think Wario's is the one that's up there. Anyway, the reason you have to be Mario is so you can hit this guy. Or, not Mario, but like, anyone who isn't Yoshi. Because, yeah, it's for some reason, even a slide kick, which every character can... I'm going to die. Even a slide kick, which every character can do, doesn't work on him if you're Yoshi. And I'm just going to be a complete wimp and recharge my health before I go in here. Fortunately, the bows don't actually come at you if you face them, just turn invisible. I think one change that this game made over the original was that when you finish this level, like if you get a star in it, and the game puts you back in the courtyard. Oh, that's another change. Usually there's a text box here. But if you get a star and the game puts you back in the courtyard, you have to kill the boot every single time to get back in the level in the original, and it's not the case in this one. So... 
that saves a little bit of time, I guess. I wonder if this still works, where you can, like, lure them through the painting. It probably does. Yep, it does. Uh, no. Okay. Where do I die? I need to kill myself now. That's not what I wanted at all. Um, there's not even a bottomless pit that I can die. This is a disaster, man. You know what? Fuck it. And my DS is low on power again, even though this literally happened in the last video and I haven't played it since then. And I don't know where my charger is, so... Yeah, I think we may be screwed. Oh, never mind. Found it. My desk is just, like, such a mess, man. It's ridiculous. Should probably take like three minutes to clean it one time. Well, not clean it, it's clean, it's just put of stuff on it. <sighs> okay, that's better, it's not gonna cut out now. At least it shouldn't. Okay, so I remember when I did a dummy run in this playthrough. This, uh. This star gave me a little bit of bother. It's not even that hard, there's just like a. Oh, for fuck's sake, just die. There's just like a certain way to do it. Where, like, you can kill them, but you don't get the coin, so I'm just gonna do that. I guess I just forgot about it. So I can follow the same route that you would do in the original. This star is, is pretty much unchanged. But some of the other stars have been changed quite a bit. Oh, come on, what are the odds? Seriously? Well, for me, 100%. Alright, so I'll just... Oh my god, I thought I was going to die there. I'm probably going to lose it if I actually do die in this level, because it should just... Yep, it should never happen. Yeah, I'm mad now. I'm mad. See, it's shit like this that makes me take a hiatus from games. I just get sick of it. It's not worth the frustration. It's just a stupid video game, and I shouldn't be bested by it. There's only so long that this kind of stuff can be entertaining, and I'm pretty sure I'm already past that. I guess I could just do it like a complete bitch and go around the other way and get the get the ghosts where the chairs aren't like a threat. So I just I want to just I can't do it because the camera in this room is just horrendous. Like I can't see what I'm doing. I can't rotate it. Wait, I want to just like kind of dive through them. I'm gonna die again, so it doesn't even bloody matter anyway. Right, okay, just like that. That's what I'm trying to do. And there's one of them later on, which is gonna completely fuck me over. If that's what I need to do for it. Okay. So, enough complaining. That's not something that I enjoy doing. Even though it totally seems like it. Right, I'm just gonna kill this guy, because I know he's gonna hit me and I know I'm gonna die. I'm not going to accept that fate because it's unfair. I can't even see, like, I've got no depth perception at all, I just, just can't see where anything is. Okay, well that's three of them down, I think there's like three left or something like that, or two left. Yeah, I'm not going to take the, the risky way of just jumping across this, let's just do it the safe way. Uh, this guy's going to be a bit of a pain unless I can just... Okay, okay, that was actually completely easy. And the one in this room is the one that I think is going to screw me over. Because, look at this crap. Um, maybe if I can lure him somewhere else. Nope, I can't do it. Alright, uh... Yeah, I, I literally don't know what I'm gonna do. Is this gonna work? Uh... No. Okay, um... Alright, well, I'm mad again, so... Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I mean, I've already lost motivation to really care about this, so... Because it's just, I know it's gonna happen again. And it's gonna happen again after that. We're already 10 minutes in and I've got one star. Hey, 
It's just such a stupid challenge. Like, I, I totally regret just doing this now. The coinless thing. I mean, at least for situations like this. Generally, I do think it adds something. But it doesn't here. It, it just annoys me. And it annoys the viewers as well because we're having to see the same level over and over and over again. And it's not fair. This isn't what I wanted for this playthrough at all. So. I mean, this is all it is. It's just me running around like this. Okay. Actually, maybe I'm being stupid about this. See if I can just get behind it and punch it. Oh my god. Well, now I know how to kill that one guy that was giving me trouble before. In fact, I'm just going to do that for all of them. I don't know why I thought that I had to, like, dive through. Oh, you know why it is. It's because in the next star you're on like a moving platform while you're killing these things and like if you stand still and just punch them how the fuck then uh, they'll just hit you or like you'll get the coin after it spawns which isn't good so okay this is actually genuinely not difficult at all how embarrassing um yeah okay should I go for the dangerous way now that's not even Let's not even make jokes about that, it's not fine. Alright, so how am I going to tackle this guy? Oh, I don't want him where he is right now, that's for sure. See if I could get him over here. That'd be a lot more at ease. Alright. Please don't go invisible. Nah, he's going to go invisible. Punch him, Mario. Okay. And I'll be waiting here till that blue coin goes away because I'm not going to take a chance. Okay. So all that's left is this guy. And the slide kick doesn't hit him. Cool. It's another change they've made from the original. <laughs> For probably no reason. He looks a lot less scary in this game. They've used the kind of model from, like... I guess like double dash or something. It just looks goofier than rather than scary. Okay, I don't need to worry about coins or anything from him. I swear to god I hit him twice there. Didn't I? Unless that slide kick actually did take damage him, which I didn't think it did. Oh whatever, we finally got it. And the next star is gonna be a little bit similar. I'm going to save the game. But um, I, I should be able to manipulate the surroundings so that it works a little better than that did. Like I said, when I was doing this in practice, it did kind of screw me over for a little bit, but it's not... It shouldn't be that hard. Now that I have come up with this great idea of just like punching them instead of diving through them, I think we should be okay. Because I need to kill like another six or seven of them in this one. And yeah, there's a star down here that I need to be Wario for. Um, he's got a, a cap right around there, you can see it on the touch screen, so... I'll be coming for that one later on. Now, so if I can get, like, behind them... And then punch them, and then the platform will just, like, naturally take me away from it, which is cool. So the only real, sort of, problem is them being invisible. So this music is totally the same as the music box theme from Majora's Mask in Icana Canyon. I mean, it's not literally the same, but I'm pretty sure it's almost the same. Uh, no, come on. Nope, I'm dead. So is this the last guy? It is, well, I think they've reduced the number of these in this game. Nope, never mind, I'm talking crap. There is another one, so I'll get them over here. I should take advantage of the fact that like when you jump on them they're stunned for a little second. So turn him around, jump on him, and miss. Yep, miss again. Okay, get it. Okay, that will that went pretty well, I guess. I mean I, I really can't complain about that. As I said in practice that gave me a hell of a lot more trouble. And 
just collect the key. It's right here. Oh, okay. So I'm trying to think. I think there, there's only one star in this level that you can't get. I might be wrong. It's been a little while since I did this run, but... I think it's just one. It's like the eye to eye in the secret room. Because you need Luigi's um, flower power ability to get it, and there's no way to get through it that we know of without it. But... I, th I think everything else can be gone. So I want to show something else off here. In the original, you could just jump up here, and jump across here, and get the star right away, but they've actually very lazily fixed that by putting a glass barrier around it. So I'm going to have to go and do this the normal way, which I haven't done since probably about 1988. But it's really easy, as long as you don't die here. Which I'm definitely not going to, so that's okay. So what's the order? Because I, I don't know. It's not that. Okay, it's that. There was no way to figure that out, I suppose, but there's only three of them, so it should be. You know, I wonder if you have Luigi's uh, flower power ability, you can probably just go through the glass. Although I think the game is quite inconsistent with that stuff, like for instance you can go through the mirror upstairs, but I don't know if you can go through everything that looks like one. So, obviously, oh I forgot, obviously I can't get the red coin star. So the next star I can get, I think, is the one on the balcony. Just do what I did before, if I can just backflip here. Nope. Oh, sorry, I'll just do it here. Oh yeah, this is another addition. I don't know if I've pointed this out yet, but just another way they've made this game so much easier than the original. On the red coin star, a bubble, a little pink bubble appears if you talk to him. Oh, never mind. <laughs> it's not him. There's another one somewhere, like, that shows you where all the red coins are on the touch screen. He'll just point it out to you, and it's, like, kind of ridiculous that they did that. Like, how stupid do you think the people who play your games are? You know, like... Well, I guess it's not a matter of stupidity, really. It's just that they've taken away a lot of the challenge of these kind of missions. Okay, and you may have noticed there was a, Lu a Luigi painting in there. I'll be addressing that in a couple of minutes, I believe. And yeah, another way they've made this one easier from the original, but I, I, I totally agree with them doing this, because there's no way like, you would think to... I think another way you got there easily. They've added the flower power thing so you can just flow up if you have it. I don't know, so I'm going to do it the way that we do it in the original, which is to just run up here and then come up here like that. So, aside from that first star, this level's actually gone pretty well. I'm quite happy with it. I was not expecting that. So. Yeah, there's one more star in the level itself that I can get, and other than that, the only thing I can get is Luigi. And I said earlier that I'm probably not going to use him that much because I feel like playing with him makes the game too easy. This is still true, but there's just a couple things that I do actually need him for, at least in regards to like, glitches that I can show up. But I'm pretty sure there are some stars. Well, actually, no. In this playthrough with uh, Flower thing blocked. I probably don't need them at all, but yeah, there's a couple glitches and stuff that I need them for, and I want to show them off because it, it, in a weird way, will add some sort of challenge to one of the stars that I do later on. So yeah, I am gonna get them. I just won't use them very much, except for like in swimming levels in Jolly Roger Bay because he's the fastest swimmer, and I don't want to have to wait. So the stars are really, really easy one. It's just the usual stuff. I can break this confidently knowing that I won't collect the coins because they always land on the switch star. I do need to wait for them to go away. Oh. And it just appears. On the other side of this place, you can't just simply run around to the right there because there's a, like a fence in the way. Which you probably could get through if you were Luigi, but that's pointless because you can do Wario Okay, anyway. So yeah, that's everything in Big Boo's Horn except for Luigi, so I'll just nip back in and get him. And I'll be coming back to this place much later on to get some of the rabbits for the other characters and obviously the the red coins from those guys and the red coins in this level. So I'm just going to head up and unlock him just now. Uh, 
badly timed long jumps. Yeah. Oh, I could have just used the stairs. Obviously not going to do that when I can do something much cooler. Even if it takes much, much longer. Which it does. Yeah, the wall picking in this game is a little finicky. Right, fuck it. No, no, no. I'm not going to give up. We'll just do it this way instead. So in here is the Luigi level. Unfortunately, I think if you die in this, it spits you out a big goose horn rather than this one. So, yeah, red coins. Can't get them. There is another star in this level. Also can't get that. So, just gonna... Oh, okay. Well, I guess we'll now get to find out if I was right. Oh, oh, I wasn't. Brilliant. That's great then. Maybe it's only if you die to the boss. I don't actually remember the order here. I think it's left. I think it's over here. And then... Ugh. Left again. Yeah, no, this is a map. Yeah, let's see if that this one's going to show you. Yeah, look, look at the map, the map. He shows you where they all are. And he also shows me where the key is, which is nice. So, uh, I think it's left. It is left. Um, so I got quite lucky just remembering where they are. If you got the wrong one, then it just sends you to like a black room and you restart the maze. So, you know, I wonder... No, no, this is probably not close enough to the wall, but I'm going to try it anyway, just to see if anything at all can happen. I mean, it's, it does sort of spaz, but that's just because of the camera. It has to be against the wall for it to actually... Anyway, inside there, there's another red coin, so you don't have to worry about that. And the other star that you can get in this level is inside this paint here, but you need to be Luigi with his flower power ability to get inside. As far as I know, there's no way to like glitch in there, unfortunately. I'll probably have a look into that later on, but so far I haven't found any. So I'll just pop in here and actually unlock them at long last. And kind of a weird one here, you have to just like stand up here and eventually um, something should happen. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of a difference there. I don't really know how that could have worked with that mirror, but... So, in this game you actually fight King Boo four times. I suppose that actually you only fight him once as King Boo, the other ones are just like a big one. Being really pedantic right now, because they're actually exactly the same, except one's got a crown and the other doesn't. But you can sort of see what the gimmick of this fight is, you know. Uh, it alternates which part of the level it appears on, and you have to look at the mirror to see where it is if, if it's on like Luigi's side. Make sure I'm looking at that. So he's over here. So that was pretty easy. Nice glitched view from inside Mario's head there. So I'm probably just going to go ahead and unlock him right now. Like I said, I'm not going to use him very much, but I want to have him as an option for a little bit later on. So, hmm, yeah, just to see what we can do. But, if I, I'm just going gonna, just gonna to walk back. It would be a little bit quicker, I think, than going inside the level and hitting save it down and exit level. So I mentioned earlier, like at the start of this video, that there's a star that you get from collecting rabbits. Just to clarify, it's not just from collecting the normal rabbits, it's like every now and again one of the normal rabbits will turn into like this sparkly rabbit. And there's ten of those. And they can just appear randomly for any character, but I'm going to manipulate them all so they appear with Yoshi and I can get them all really quickly. But I'm not going to do that right now because it's really, really boring to watch. I might not even show it at all, actually, but I'll show the, the process at least. But yeah, we're back to being this guy. So the next level I'm going to go and take on is Coco Mountain, which is just over here. The reason I'm choosing to do this one is because this video was already run on for quite a bit, and there's not a lot of stars you can get in here. I think it's three. In the original game, 
in the original game's version of this challenge. I think it's two. I'm pretty sure that's the case anyway. So, yeah, I'm, I'm actually going to go Luigi just to demonstrate how easy he makes the game. So, okay, that was a little delayed. So, there's a star back here that you can get. If you backflip with him and just basically don't ground pound and don't touch anything, you can just float like this forever until he lands. If you hold in B, he'll spin faster, which means you can cover more distance. And yeah, you can see just how easy that makes pretty much everything. So I was able to get this star with absolutely no hassle at all. Not that it would have been particularly difficult with anyone else, but it would have been a little bit more challenging. But that's okay. I'm not going to use him again, I just wanted to show off the reason that I'm not going to use him again, basically. So, um... Gonna go... I guess I'll just go Wario for this one. Because he's going to be needed. So, obviously a lot of the stars in this level require you to go inside this chimney. Not possible because of the coins. There's no way, as far as I'm aware, to like glitch in through the side here. Um, there are a few places like this in the level where you can sort of slide kick into and he just falls to his death, but as far as I know, you can't um, can actually get in there normally, so I'll just drop, drop down to this guy. Oh yeah, that's another thing Mario can do, which is actually where another star is going to be. My stuff. Can I throw the pen? Oh, well, you can actually dive when you're holding that. It's news to me. I think it's because I was on a slope. Alright, I'll just take the penguin with me. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Nothing, that's what I thought. Now he's floating in the air. I think there's only one star mode I can get in this level. I'll just quickly explain why that is. Um, stars 3 and 5 will not appear until... Like, star 3 won't appear until you've got 1 and 2, right? Star 5 will not appear until you have 1 through 4. And 1 and 3 require you to go in the chimney. 4 is the red coin star. 5 is the snowman's lost his head star, which normally would be able to be gotten if we could access it, but we can't. And the other star is the Switch star, which you need to be Wario to get. Well, you don't have to be him to get it, but... You need to be him to unlock the place where you get the star, which, as we saw in the previous star, is right in here. So I'll just break that before I actually do this. Because the Switch star is actually up here. Now, one other change they've made to this, and I, I honestly can't remember actually if it is a change or not. I think it is, but when you like jump over the void here, there's like an updraft which will pretty much stop you from dying no matter what, like that. I can't remember if that's the original. I don't think it would have been. Come on. And I'm pretty certain that's all I can get in this level, but I want to pop in once more just to show something off. Because this is something that I'm never going to do even later on in this because it takes forever, but I want to show off something that you can do. So I'll just enter the level as Yoshi. As we can see at the bottom of the level up here on the touch screen, there are Goombas that have hats for all the other characters. I'm going to be collecting coins by the way, just, just to show this off. So if I kill this guy, and this only works with Goombas that have got hats on by the way, Gives me a coin, right? It's the same for the other two, so if I do that for both of them, and take this warp here, back up to the top, and then, I guess I will actually need to collect coins to show us off. Then I enter this, and then complete the slide, back out at the bottom of the level, then those three guys will have respawned. But not only will they have respawned, their coins will have respawned. So it means that you can actually get infinite coins in this level. It's one of the, I think there's like four levels in the game where you can do something like that um, to get infinite coins. The other one being, the other one's exactly like this, being Snowman's Land. You just enter the eggloads instead of the slide. Anyway, exit course. So, I guess, have I opened this yet? No, I haven't. Okay, Mario. 
I think that's the last thing I'm going to do in this video, just do Bowser and the Dark World. We'll save Jolly Roger B to the next one because there's something in there which I think might frustrate me a little bit and <laughs> I don't really feel like doing that right now, so let's just go and unlock Mario. Well, he's been unlocked for some time, actually. So I wonder if I can just do the level as him. It shouldn't be, like, any more difficult than doing it with Yoshi, so yeah, I'll just do it with him. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to get the key from Bowser. I'm not even going to fight Bowser, in fact. There's no need for me to do that. I've already been to the basement and upstairs, so... Um, I don't know if there's a way to actually get beyond that invisible wall in this game. Oh! Right, okay. My reaction there made it sound like that was something that I've never seen before, but it actually is something that I've known for, about for a long time. It's just, like, so, so rare that I can't believe it actually happened. There's like a tiny part of that trapdoor that you can like sort of fall through and either you'll just like fall to your death like I did or you'll be stuck below the level's loading zone. Which is what I was hoping would happen as soon as I noticed that I went through it. But unfortunately that's not the case. But if that happens you can just kind of hang about down there and if you jump up you're in a level. So a little bit of a detour here, but I guess I'm going to be a, a complete jackass and try and get it again, just to see if it will work. It is very, very uncommon. I do have a video of this on my channel, actually. I'll probably put it in the description as well. The way I found to do it is to, like, slight kick against this, and sometimes he just sort of pops below it. I think what happens is the trapdoor, as it comes back up, sort of forces him into the wall a little bit, and he bypasses the loading zone because of that. Wow, nice, cool, excellent. And I can't even try to glitch again because it's stuck open. Mamma mia. But yeah, that was that was pretty daft. I can't believe I did that. But it's okay. This level's a lot easier than Bowser of the Fire Sea, which I managed to get through, so I'm not too worried about it. Although I will be if things like that can happen. Yep, and it looks like they're going to, so I guess I should be worried. I could slide kick up that hill, but there's coins. Oh, never mind, there's no coins, but whatever. I'm just worried about bonking on the top of it and having it all the way back down. So, obviously, there's only one star, and that's the level I can get. The red coin one is off limits until much later in the playthrough. I really need to make sure I don't take any damage at all here, because one more hit's gonna do me in. But yeah, there is a switch star that I can get, so I'll make sure that I pick that one up. Live a little regret this decision already. Um, yep. Oh, wow. I can't believe he grabbed the ledge. Usually he just like, hits his head if you do that. Let's just play it safe here. So there's where it is. Is this guy gonna patronize me and tell me where all the red coins are? Yes, he is, even though the path in this level is completely linear. Well, except for that one little bit. Anyway. Slide kick up this one since I didn't do it with the other one. Oh, regretting that decision entirely. Okay, we're not gonna do that again. We'll just do it the, the bitch way. Okay, right, and I'm gonna wait for that to stop for, for no good reason whatsoever, just because I feel like it. It takes like how long it gives you, seriously. God, I should have left it up. Fuck. Yep, that's why I should have left it up. Although, if I did it the way I was going to do it there, I would have died anyway. I think. I think I was planning to long jump up the top step and land on top of the platform, but I'm pretty sure that was like so high up that I would have taken damage and I would have died. So it's probably better that I, that I didn't do that. Let's just keep telling ourselves on. Alright, let's see if we can get up this thing. Answer, no. Never mind. Alright, you would think this part here would be difficult, but it's really not. Well, it will be if this guy gets in the way, which it looks like he's going to do. Alright, maybe I'll. 
Wow, well, even though what happened there, I think I like touched the top of one of those crystals and it was like a little slope or something. Um, you know what, I'm not going to take that risk that I did before, I'll just do it this way. Ugh, kinda regretting this already because I'm so dangerously close to those coins. Wow. So how many deaths has that been in this playthrough? Like, well not playthrough, it's like way too many to count in that case, but... Um, this video has been like, what, three or four? Maybe five even? Maybe? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's more than one, or more than zero, which is pretty ridiculous. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I was going to do before, and obviously... See, that, that... That really annoys me, that, because I know that that works. I know that that long jump can make it across there, because I've done it before. And I'm not thinking of the original, because there's no need to do that in the original. It's in this game. Whatever, man. Whatever. Oh my god, this video is like 36 minutes long already. I mean, it's, it's not a bad thing, it's just... Surprising how long it's gone for, given that I've accomplished relatively little. I think it might be the longest in the series, actually, so far. Oh, it's just kind of annoying how, like, the level itself is really easy to get through, but then at the very end, there's just, like, some really silly little thing which uh, screws you up. understand why that triple jump didn't work. I mean, I pressed A for a jump three times in a row, so... You know, I should have. Okay, I guess we'll just play it a little bit safer this time, and just jump across the gap. Please turn around, camera. See, I can't believe that made it, but a long jump did. How ridiculous is that? Or whatever, let's just save the game, and I think I'm just going to cut it here because this has already gone on for very long. And there's nothing else I really want to show off in this video anyway. So, let's just... Let's just die. Let's just end with dignity. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.